and good morning today is the 25th of october 2017 and it's a new day it's a fantastic day we are up and ready to go now the question for today is how would you feel if you had a baby that was not growing it wasn't developing in the physical sense and in the other aspects of child development they were not hitting those milestones according to the number of weeks or months or years that they have how would you feel or how would you feel if you knew someone close to you who was not growing now yesterday i was talking about grow up growing up and i said it depends on how you take it some people take it positively some people take it negatively that very comment of growing up or grow up when I was reflecting on this yesterday, I thought about a skit that we did one time on Christmas Eve in my youth. That was a long time ago. But it was to do with a baby that was not developing and the disappointment the parents had and the just feeling that they are lost and the amount of time they put into this baby so that they, they can at least support them to develop. It happens. And in the physical sense, sometimes that's something we cannot be able to change the way it is, but we can learn how to support that person or that child so that they can also develop in some ways. So in as much as the body is not developing in the way it's supposed to be developed, yes, there is that slow development or there is very difficulties, I mean, a, a difficulty in the development we find ways on how we can support this type of a person. Now today I'm challenging you to look into the areas of your life and see whether there are any areas that have stagnated and find ways to be supported or to support those areas so that you can maximize your potential. This past few weeks we've been listening to a gentleman with Asperger's or a type of autism. And what he was saying is that, regardless of his autism, he doesn't have the severe form, but it's there. Regardless of that, he's a fantastic, excellent television presenter, and he does his job very well. We don't know what happens behind the scenes, but he has found out ways of dealing with all coping with or using the autism to his advantage. People are gifted in different ways. Even those people with autism, particularly those with mild autism traits, you will find that they are gifted in different ways. Some of them like their routines and in so doing, they are able to do more during those routines and do it perfectly. Others, if you search on the internet and all that, you will find they have extraordinary gifts and people have been able to maximize those gifts. And for those people who think they are normal, they may not be in the abnormal, like most of the people we categorize people with disabilities and learning uh, issues and all that in as if they are not normal, what is normal? So we've got to kind of normalize our life if we think there's a way of normalizing our lives and grow up and develop in those areas. Find out what our gifts are and develop those. So today, my question was, how would you feel if you knew someone who was not developing or if you had a child who was not developing? That child, that person could be you. If you ignore the other aspects of your life, that is the spiritual aspects of life. The physical, we know, we may not stop developing up and then sometimes as we grow older, some things start deteriorating in the body. So in the spiritual, it doesn't happen automatic. Physical, yes, it happens, but not always. There could be issues. Intellectually, yes, we have to do something about it. Commercially building your business, you have to do something. Emotional development is one of the areas people are struggling with currently in this day and age. So you need to do something so that you can develop emotionally. Socially, that's another issue. We find it really hard to make relationships to work. So today as you go about your day-to-day -day activities, think of it. How would you feel?